Hey guys, back with another video here. We're gonna be checking out slash commands again. Um, we're gonna look at how to set uh, specific choices or options for your slash commands. So to start, I just have a basic uh, bot here. There's a cog. The main file here loads all of our cogs automatically. And then we have a cog here, which uh, has our slash commands. So this is just to uh, get us started so we don't have to start a brand new bot here. I just wanna show you how to add options into uh, slash commands. So right here, we have a slash command already set up without options. Um, it's called choose color. So we're just gonna let the user select the color. Um, we're not really doing anything with the information in this video, we're just kind of repeating it back to the user. So I'm gonna show you how this looks. Let's run the bot, Python main. Uh, once it's online, we'll see color cog loaded and online. And then to sync, um, I just have a command to sync them to this current guild. So we synced one command, and if we do choose color, we can see here's our slash command, and we can enter in a color. So let's say uh, black. It'll say color selected black. Uh, but one thing about this, we can type in anything, and it's going to say color selected, you know, whatever we typed. So if we want to make it so people can only select uh, specific options, there is a way to do that. Uh, below here or below this line in your slash command there's another decorator you're going to want to add there's actually a few so we're going to do app commands dot describe and then we can describe uh, the options here so we're going to put colors to choose from and colors is going to hold a few different options here or choices i think other um, Discord, Python uh, libraries might use the word options instead of choices. So for the next line here, we're gonna do app commands and it's gonna be choices. And then in here, we're gonna describe the different colors. And right here, we'll do discord.app commands or app commands.choice. And then the name, we'll just do colors. So we'll do red. And for the value, we'll give it one. And then we can copy this line a few more times to give us a few more choices. So we'll do um, green, value two. And then we'll do blue with a value of three. So now we have three choices. And um, instead of passing in color string, in our command, we can pass in the options. So we'll say colors, we're gonna pass in this whole um, list of choices here. And then for the type, we're also gonna have to put discord dot app commands and then dot choices. And it's of int, that's our value type. And then now down here, uh, we can run your color selected. I think this is going to have to be color uh, dot value. Let me double check here. Or it might actually be color dot name. I, I think either way would work, but we want to get the actual color name. So let's run this now. Python main. Okay. So we messed something up here. Has no attribute choices. Um, okay, I think right here, this says choices, it should just say choice. Let's run that one more time. Okay, so now we got online, color cog loaded. Let's sync the command again, since it's it's still going to have our old command. So we'll sync it. Synced one command to the current guild. Now if we go to choose color, um, we can see we still have colors, but now we have some options here. Um, so if we choose green, hit enter. Let's see if we set that up correctly. Okay, I didn't set up the response correctly here. Uh, let's see, it might be colors.name. Okay, let's run this one more time. I just wanna make sure it's all working before I describe what's happening. Okay, so let's do sync one more time. Oh, that didn't work, sync. Hmm. Let's see, choose colors. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't sync. It must have already been synced. 
But anyway, so we're doing choose color. And I had a typo in here. I had color instead of colors, but it's, you know, we named it color, so we need these to match. So in here, okay, there we go. Our sync command was just uh, going a little slow there. Okay, so anyway, it's working now. If we do choose color, we can choose whatever color we want. We'll do blue. If we hit enter, it'll take a second, and then it'll um, display the color we chose. And then if we also try to choose a color that's not in the list, of options um, we can do like uh, black it's gonna say no options match your search and it will not let us enter not a valid choice so it has to be one of the options or choices um, it's kind of confusing because in discord it call it it's called options in the discord UI but in discord Pi they called it choices so um, discord Pi 2.0 these are called choices these right here are the decorators to add choices into your slash command and um, you can have multiple um, arguments passed in with different choices and stuff. So that's a cool little um, option for slash commands. You could have different you know, things in here if you wanted like um, colors, and then you could maybe have a role selection. You know, if they wanna add a specific role, you could have a slash command where people could select different roles to add. Um, possibilities are really endless and uh, have fun with it guys. If you need help, join my Discord.